The East Greenbush Community Library subscribes to a technology training resource for non-techies called Tech Talk. There is no cost for patrons to use this service, and there are lots of different ways to access the benefits. The website. Log in to view articles and videos on a wide range of topics, including software, hardware, web tools, graphics, cybersecurity, social media, email, and more. The app. Download the app for access to all of this info on the go. The newsletter. Sign up to receive a quick tip in your inbox once a week. Webinars. Sign up to attend live webinars. The recorded webinars are archived on the website. In this video, we are going to focus on the website. From there, you can view videos and articles, download the app, sign up for the newsletter, and browse and sign up for webinars. To get started, go to tech-talk.com and enter EG Library, all lowercase, as both the username and password. So this is the main Tech Talk page. If you click on Login in both the username and password, you can enter EG Library. Any links that we post to Tech Talk will have the login information embedded, so you won't need to enter it. After you log in, the main landing page is branded with our library info. You can see our logo here and some information about our library. If you scroll down, you can search by keyword or browse topics. So here you can search um, either by keyword or search by topics. There's popular problems and ask your question. If you scroll down, there's recent videos and articles um, on different topics that they update periodically. Keyword search is just what you would expect. So we will click on topic search. The latest 10 resources for each subject are listed. So here under webinars, leadership, communications, you have the re most recent topics listed underneath each of those categories. To see a complete list for a subject, you can click on its headings. So if we wanted to see everything about communications, we could click on communications and it will bring up a whole section about communications. At the top of the search by topic page, you can also use the drop down box. So if we scroll back up, this is the drop down box here. And this contains not only the categories on that page, but also subcategories and additional subdivisions by user skill level. So here you see if we were to scroll down here, there's job hunting, leadership, and different topics under each um, particular category. When we're looking at the drop down box, if you wanted to browse the different section by skill level, so say you wanted to browse all the intermediate skills, you would just click on intermediate skills and it will automatically redirect. And here you can see articles for people that have intermediate tech skills. If you use the keyword search and the topic search but still can't find the answer to your question, there is a button on the topic page which can also be reached through search in the menu bar that's up here where you can submit a form to ask them to create an article or webinar dedicated to that topic or question. And if you wanted to do that, you could click on this ask your question button and here you would fill out your information as well as your Tech Talk username, that is the EG library, and the question or problem that you would like them to have more resources about. Tech Talk has created some special landing pages to organize popular content and make browsing easier. First, you see learning activities up on top. Under here, basics for non-techies. If you're just getting started with tech or you want to make sure the knowledge you have of the basics is current, check out this page covering email, internet safety, and document basics. So if we scroll down, you can see the different categories in the basics section. Under Also under learning activities, if you mouse over that, you can go down to popular problems. This page is sectioned by the user's skill level. Click on a topic to see the top five related articles. So here we have all the different articles and it's separated by here you see novice, intermediate, and advanced. And if you click on each particular topic, so say we wanted to look at basic Excel techniques, if we click on that, it has five different articles related to that. And going back to learning activities, here we have the quick reference guides. If you click on that, this page takes an overarching subject like Word and supplies a downloadable PDF containing links to the most useful articles and videos on that subject. So if we look at the Word guide, for instance, if we click on that, it has some basic Word basics that makes it easily accessible in one PDF.
if you click on, if we go back now, here we're going to close out of the Word, and if we click on Digital Novices, this is a landing page geared toward retirees, seniors, and digital novices. They have collected a few key articles on each subject based on the intended audience. The menu at the top of the page contains almost everything that can be found by scrolling down. So um, here you see the menu up top here. You can also access the same information by scrolling down the page a bit. The exception would be the More category, which leads to miscellaneous information, including images, videos, web tools, and more. So if we were to click on More, just to give you an idea of what's in that category, here you can see 34 web tools that make work easier and fun, had more about communication, there's things about Canva, and all different sorts of miscellaneous categories. Now you may notice that the menu at the top of the other pages is no longer present when you're exploring the Digital Novices section. If you would like to access that other menu, you can click on the Digital Novices landing page. Um, that's this link up here, and that will get you back to that main page that has that same menu up top. The Skills section is under Construction. You can see that over here. So you want to check back often because more links will be live soon. Tech Talk offers a variety of webinars. To browse and register for upcoming webinars, you go to Learning Activities, and then go down to Webinars, Recordings, and Handouts. And on this page, you can see the upcoming ones here that are you can register for. So you would just click the registration link. And here are recordings of previous webinars that you can watch on demand. When you attend a webinar, you can get a certificate of attendance if you need to keep track of continuing education credits. To do this, you go into Learning Activities, and then you want to click on Learning Credits and Certificates. And from there, you can just fill in your information and you will be emailed a completion certificate. Tech Talk sends a short weekly email containing a quick tech tip. To sign up, we want to go back to the main page. To do that from any point um, when you're browsing, you can just click on Articles EG Library and that will take you back to the main Tech Talk EG Library page. And here you can see Sign Up for the Newsletter and Become a Tech Hero. That popped right up and you can click on Click Here. You can enter your information here, your name and your email, and you can get the quick tech tip sent to your email every week. We hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and can see how Tech Talk can be useful in your everyday life, from quick tips to in-depth learning.